Well, hello and welcome to this wonderful Wacky Wednesday of Baking. We are here. We are ready to get started for a wonderful, a wonderful homemade apple bunt cake. At the beginning, you got to see a preview of our cake and I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. It goes real quickly. We've already preheated our oven at 325 and we're ready to get our ingredients in our mixer. We're going to first add two cups of sugar one and one half cups of vegetable oil, two tablespoons of vanilla, and three eggs. Your three eggs must be room temperature. That's very important that they're room temperature. So sit them out early so that temperature can change. You're gonna mix those up till they're nice and fluffy. Then you're going to add three cups of flour, adding one cup at a time, very slowly a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of salt. All of that is gonna mix very nicely. As that is in your mixer on low, you're going to take three, three medium Granny Smith apples. It's very important that they're Granny Smiths because you need that tartness to handle all of your other ingredients. You're going to peel, core, and chop your apples. After your mixture has blended very nicely, at the end, you're actually gonna take your beaters out and then you're going to hand fold in your apples. Hand fold in your apples. Put it in your bun pan and put it in the oven for 65 minutes. 325 for 65 minutes. Today, I am using my spiral bun pan just to give a little creativity, something fancy for us to do. Now, after you've had your cake in the oven for 65 minutes, you're going to pull her out, let her sit for 15 minutes, and then turn it on a wire cooling rack. You may say, why a wire cooling rack? That's so the air can get underneath your cake and help in your cooling and help your circulation. Of course, by the miracle of television, we are done. We have it here, we're ready to go. With our cake, on the top of our cake, while it's still warm, we are going to take a cup of brown sugar, one stick of butter, two tablespoons of vanilla, and two tablespoons of salted crown royal, and put in our glaze. We're gonna let our glaze melt down and get nice and bubbly, then you're gonna set it aside. You're gonna put in your vanilla and your crown at the very end while it's cooling. You're gonna let it start cooling for about five minutes, and what happens, it makes a gorgeous caramel glaze. Look at that. Look at that glaze there. And you're going to simply take that glaze and just put her around that warm cake and allow it to sit and melt in very good while the cake is still warm. That wonderful glaze is in there. You're putting in your flavorings at the end so you still have that wonderful flavor of the salted caramel crown and your vanilla. Now, this is what I like to do, giving room. I take my plate, just take a, just a little dab of our caramel sauce and just sprinkle it around the inside of that plate. Get it right in there, get it right in our plate. Then we're gonna take our serrated knife and go in. Oh, I can see it now. Ooh, a nice cut. Very nice cut while it's still on that cooling rack. So you can slide that knife underneath. Ooh, look up there. Will you look at it? Those wonderful apples inside. You're gonna lay it right there on your plate, right in the middle of the sauce. And of course, you know I got to give it at least one more good drizzle. One more good drizzle. Let that hold, I'm gonna let you see it. Then of course, you know what time it is. So that wonderful cake, you can see those apples in there. And we're gonna just dig right on in and get some of that sauce. Oh my, this is amazing. You have the Granny Smith apples, the tartness of the apples, that cinnamon, just roast it nice in. This is one of those cakes that you can use for dessert. Something that you can simply use for coffee in the morning and tea, just to greet your guests, a nice little warm 
cake. It doesn't take long to put it all together. However, it takes a moment to cook. So that hour, you need that hour and five minutes at 325 to get your cake where it needs to be. So this is our apple bunt cake. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy.